at 7 p.m. We're going to begin the annual meeting. We begin with a pledge of the flag of the United States of America. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Uh, Thank you for everybody for um, attending this evening. Okay, we have the consent agenda for the annual meeting. We have the agenda for March 12, 2024, and the meeting minutes from March 7, 2023. Four. I make a motion to approve the consent agenda as presented. Okay, we have a motion to approve the consent agenda as amended. Um, as presented. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Okay. Before the annual meeting is a meeting of residents of Casco Township and not the elected board. Any resident 18 years old or older may vote on official salary or increase or keep the same. However, other matters discussed in the meeting are only advisory only. Okay, just the board vote. Unless it's on the channel. Okay. All right, we have motion and support. Yep. We have motion and support for the consent agenda. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I actually think everybody can go down that, right? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. We need a council. Yeah, how about the young lady there? Um, do you want to be that? <laughs> it's a she, 19 position. Yeah, do you want to be our counter tonight? Yeah. yeah. She's reading. Yes, you. Can you see that? <laughs> She's reading. Just count it. Okay. Oh, okay. Sure, <laughs> yeah, just count the rates of when people raise their hands. Gaze your knees. Yeah. Your first, your first official. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Okay. All in favor. Okay. All in favor of approving the consent agenda. Raise your hand high. Okay. Clerk salary resolution 2024-02, $52,000 per year with $1,000 per election. Okay, we're going to vote on. I'll make a motion to approve the clerk salary at $52,000 per year with $1,000 per election. I, I support that. Okay, all in favor, raise your hand. I have to think about this. No. <laughs> Anyone opposed? Okay, motion carries. We have the treasurer salary resolution 2024-03, $30,300 per year. I make a motion to approve the treasurer's salary at $30,300 per year. I support. Okay, we have a motion support for the treasurer, treasurer's salary at $30,300 per year. All in favor, raise your hand. Trustee salary, the trustee salary for our two trustee resolution two thousand. Oh, motion carried. I'm, geez, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I sat through board review for the last few days. Okay, so <laughs> trustee salary resolution two thousand twenty four zero four and two thousand twenty four zero five eight hundred forty six dollars per year with a per diem of eighty two dollars. I make that motion. Support. Okay, we have motion and support resolution 2024-4 and 2024-05, 846 dollars per year with a per diem of 82 dollars. All in favor, raise your hand. Okay, all 
Anyone opposed? Motion carries. This time. <laughs> Supervisor salary resolution 2024 06 $28,551 a year. So moved. Support. Okay, a motion support resolution 2024 at 06 at $28,551 per year. All in favor, raise your hands up high. <laughs> okay, anyone opposed? Motion carries. Okay, citizens comments. Would anyone like to comment on any any questions or anything? No? <laughs> nice weather. Yeah, yeah, nice weather. We, we did board of review, it went well today. It's um, a lot of people were about just the amount of property values going up and that, you know, surprised them. It reflects on their taxes in the area. So, yeah, so, okay. Um, we had board comments, but we're all one, so, okay. <coughs> Anything? I made yeah. a motion to adjourn. Support. And we have motions to support and um, adjourn. All in favor, raise your hands. Okay, our counter, we need Jeff. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same one. It's the same. It's yeah, the same. 14, you're good. <laughs> all right, I'd like to, before we begin. <laughs> Your yeah, before we, I'd like to recognize our counter for a job. Right <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, all right. Okay. Okay. Um, we have a consent to um, call to order the regular meeting for March 12, 2024. We have the consent agenda. We have a couple, um, we have an addition, um, the, D, the D and E will be um, item F, and then on, on your new business, item B, we need to change the date instead of 2023-24 budget, it should be 2024-2025 budget. That was my bad, sorry. That's all right. I understand my vote. Okay. <laughs> okay. I didn't get anything. All right. <laughs> And what we have an addition in the middle? No, I F. F. That's new business. Yeah. Okay. 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 okay, just the just the do we have an addition? I'm sorry. With the addition of F and then the card. Okay, F. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Colleen. Colleen. What? Do you wanna do you wanna just talk about that under board comments or do you wanna add what? The um, with the guardian, the addition, or do you want to yes. that in the board comments? Um, I feel like we could add it to the agenda. I think so action. too. We might get some action on it. You can add it to old and new business, whatever you prefer. Okay. Or old, old, so e. Okay. Addition. Old business. Or what is that? The addition. The addition. Um, no. Okay. okay just the new like What would you add? I All right. Are we all um, on board here? So we have the consent agenda with the one addition and the one correction. Two additions. Two. What's the second one? Okay. The, the addition is on the old business. Okay. And then under new business F. D &E. I'm not oh, D and E. D I'm D sorry. D and E landscaping. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Okay, D and E landscaping. Gotcha. Now we're cooking with gas here. <laughs> okay. All right. So we have the consent agenda with the uh, uh, the two, the one, the two additions and the one correction. Any other questions, comments? 
Do a motion. I make a motion to approve the consent agenda with the um, corrections and additions as stated. Okay. Support. We have a motion support to approve the consent agenda with the two additions, one correction. Roll call vote. Anderson, yes. Ian, yes. Kaczynski, yes. The Stevens, yes. Silver, yes. Okay, motion carries. The first thing we have is um, the front doors there. We had Cyril's glass from in St. Clair. We had a problem during early voting where we had a, a spring loaded hinge in there, but the winds and that kind of made short work of that. So we had Cyril's glass come. They checked it out, said we would like one of those um, arms like we have on a door like that. They installed one. They priced it out for two on both sides. If we find, you know, when we're doing it, if we only just need the one side, we could have it. Plus, we're going to do some additional weather proofing. Did you ask me about this door here? No, I didn't. I'll give, I'll give them a call. Yeah. Just to check it out, because that cover keeps coming off. Yeah. That might just be like a quick fix. Right, right. So, yeah, we, we have the two elections this, the, the early voting for both the primary and primary voting day, and then the general election, so we're going to need the door looked after. Any questions on this? I make a motion that we approve um, Cyril's glass um, to come out and fix the doors for $620. Support. Okay, we have a motion support to um, hire Cyril's glass to fix the front doors. Um, okay, roll call vote. Anderson, yes. Dan, yes. 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 Stephen, yes. Stover, yes. Okay. Next town is emergency siren preventative maintenance. We had this on the um, but, um, agenda last month. There's some questions. So I talked to Bob Courier up at emergency management. And yeah, that was a part of the thing that we would have to pay for the maintenance. Side. I have a question. Do you have a copy of the original? Agreement that you signed that says no, that's in there. I don't. Mommy, did. we put that on. I would like to see that. Just, I mean, because they, this is a new agreement that they're at, they're putting on. It's, it's dated from okay. January. Uh, I can find that. I mean, yeah. Oh, I would just be interested. No problem. Yeah. We just weren't told that there was an annual right. maintenance yeah. fee when we accepted the gift. And right. who knows if that would have changed our decision on accepting the gift? Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, I'll look into that. So, you want to put that on hold? Yes, yeah, okay. till, till April. All right, no problem. April. <laughs> okay. okay, website. Um, our website currently is down, and um, I have contacted four web developers. Um, they all, one of them is recommended by our T service that they operate, two other, three others are rec are do websites for the local communities or recommended by the Michigan Township Association. Um, we have appointments, um, presentations in the next week with all four of them. And then we'll get information on that and select, we'll select the best one that we think will serve the best needs of the township. Is that, yeah. Best posting. Yeah, the one that for next Monday is actually that shifted to Wednesday. But the other ones are. So we'll have our first one tomorrow morning. And if we need to do a special meeting to approve it, because yeah. we need to get that website. Yeah. And they were saying, depending, they said they can, like I was talking to one, it could be as quick as two weeks to stand up one. Some would take longer. So I don't know. I mean, I'm not. We're having our, one of our building clerks, um, Katie, she's quite expert in that. So she'll be, we pointed her our lead. <coughs> And, uh, be on yeah, yeah. So this is she's a very sharp I, woman. I did apply for a dot gov because we can we can get those for free now. Okay. Um, and I told Katie about that, but it takes twenty days for them to decide oh, whether or not we're, we're approved for it. Gotcha. So it's kind of in the process, so she's gonna ask the people that you guys meet with. Okay, so Casco.com or Casco.gov or dot org or whatever. Okay. Okay. Good. All right. Okay. Next, um, we have a bunch of amendments. So I um, worked this weekend and got some budget amendments together for you guys. I tried to um, look ahead 
through the rest of this fiscal year, which is this month, um, just to make sure that I have enough in there. So hopefully I won't have to do any more budget amendments um, to these. So if anybody has any questions, I tried to color coat them um, with which one I'm taking money from and then which accounts I'm putting money into. Just like a bowl of jelly beans. Right. Well, I was going to color coat this like I did last year, but it was just jumbled mess, so it was too much. Yeah, no, it, looks, it looks very detailed. So if anybody has any questions, feel free. Do you make motion to adopt? Yes. Okay, you make motion to adopt. Okay, we have support. support. We have motion um, and support to adopt the budget amendments for 23-24. Okay, any discussion? Okay, roll call vote. Anderson, yes. Ian, yes. Kaczynski, yes. Stevens, yes. Silver, yes. Okay, motion carries. Okay, the next thing is the addition. Holly and I had a Zoom meeting with um, Gordian, which is a, what would you want to call it, like a general contractor mm -hmm. through the Omnia partnership that we belong to. Mm -hmm. um, and he was very informative. Um, we'll take the lead and we don't have to do any bids because it's all already pre-bidded through Omnia. So mm -hmm. they have a very pat formula. You put in your numbers, your square footage, um, your basic kinds, and they draw up the bid package. Gotcha. And they find contractors. And they find contractors. And the contractors have already gone through their whole yes, process. Which means their contractors will um, use some of their suppliers, um, at which point we get a price break. Right. A bigger price for it. It depends on more than what we have now. But they they are all with Omnia. It's all like a, a maximum price. Like okay. any anything that we go through with Omnia, there's a maximum price. So like the Toshiba copier, mm -hmm. the maximum price that they can charge us for copies is I don't even remember what it was. It's like point zero zero eight cents for a copier. Okay. You know something like that. But same thing with with. The contractors, they have like a, a maximum that they can charge us, and okay. that's it. Right. So, I guess we have to decide what we want to do if we want to go that way, just because we need to get the ball rolling yeah. and we want to get it done for the November election. Right. So, we're bringing it to you guys. Yeah. We need to move up. Yes. motion? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we have support. <coughs> okay, we have a motion support. Right, okay, what? So I'll contact Gordian tomorrow and tell him that we're, we're ready to go. Okay. Let's go. Okay. All right. Um, we have a roll call on this? Mm -hmm. Okay, roll call vote. Okay. Anderson, yes. Dan, yes. Kaczynski, yes. Stevens, yes. Stover, yes. Okay, motion carries. Good. Rock and roll on this. Okay, uh, next on new business budget here. This is open. We have to close the regular meeting. Yeah. Okay. So you have to close the regular meeting? Okay, we have to. Okay, we have to. So I make a motion to close the meeting. Okay, we have support. Support. Okay, we have motion support to close the regular meeting. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Now we have to. Uh, um, a motion okay. support. I'll open the budget here. I make a motion to open the budget hearing. Support. Okay, we have a motion to support the budget hearing. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, motion carries. Okay, you guys should all have a copy of the, the budget mm -hmm. from last, last meeting. So if anybody has any questions, comments, concerns. Mm -hmm.
developing existing parks or developing new park space in urban environments. We could have reapplied, but the, most likely we would have gotten turned down again. So I was talking with our park planner, Pam Blau, and she suggested we go for another passport grant, which the thresholds are not as high, to develop a playground on the existing area. It would be just just right off the pavilion area. Um, we're asking for a grant for the state, for the DNR, uh, for $150,000. We would have to match $50,000 for a total amount of $200,000. Now, the we, we won't go past $200,000 for the cost of it. Anything, let, let's say it ends up being a hundred let's say 125,000, we would only Castle Township 25% of the cost. So the DNR, Michigan DNR would do 75% of the cost. Regardless. What's that? Yeah, regardless. regardless. The if it was $200,000 price or if it was 100,000. So we'll say our max is 200. So we'd pay 50. We'd be 50,000. It's proportional. Yeah. And I asked Pam, I said, I would like our Parks and Recs Committee to be involved. And she says, absolutely. When it comes to the selection of the different equipment down there, they'll be heavily involved. There's already a, a playground like it existing up at the Goodles County Park down near the river. So I'm going to tell the Parks and Rec member to go down there, check that out. It's going to be very similar. I have um, um, I have someone that called me yesterday about playground stuff. And I told her we weren't ready quite yet, but when we were, um, I can either give her Pam's number or whoever from the Parks and Rec and they can connect her and get her a nut getting us some good pricing for it too. Good deal. I do have a question about the price match on here. Yeah. Do we have money in the Parks and Rec? After we do phase one, two, yeah, we'll, whatever. We'll be reimbursed. I just got contact from Lansing that our reimbursements 
have gone through, so they're working their way. Yeah, they're going to have a hit tomorrow. I got a okay, good. Thing. But I'm just saying, after you do phase one, two, three, no, you're going to have well, enough. Only phase one, two right now. Okay, you're going to have enough money in the parks and rec to match. That's what I'm worried about. Oh, the fifty thousand? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we should. We should or we do? What? And I have a question because Joe's just mentioning a figure of two hundred thousand dollars. I don't see two hundred thousand dollars referenced anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. No, that that was I got um, things from Pam in the meantime. That was just a letter I wrote to the board members saying about describing that. Oh, okay. So that last paragraph is really irrelevant. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, well, let's take a look at it. Uh, because. Money. 
Well, we do have, and I'm going to brief um, at the end of the meeting about um, our meeting with the Road Commission. We do have that ARPA money coming that was was going to be, they were going to use it for the Marine City Highway Corridor, but said the county, they decided to break it up among the, uh, the communities. How much was that? It's about $140,000. For each? For each well, community cast, or to cast. split? Everyone is different. Yeah. So it would be 140 for us? Yeah. yeah. So we could use that, right? Yeah. yeah. We I can mean, do that. That's a good idea. Yeah. That money is being to given to each organization, community, township yeah. to do what they want, right? right. Yeah. Yes. There's no There's designated. No. <coughs> okay, I just want to make sure. No, I think that's a good idea. Yeah. Let me. Maybe. Let you me. know, it just, it's not, it's, it's leading up to the park. It's not actually in the park. Right. I need to see us spend our park money mm -hmm. on, on a road. On a road. Yeah. I agree. Which yeah. I think is excessive. I, wait, well, yeah, I think before we approve yeah. the resolution, okay. we need I'll to talk. check in. I'll come to them and get those numbers to mark. Okay. Good. That's good comment. Okay. All right. So, okay. The next one. Well, just before we move on from the park, the Parks and Recs Committee met last week and they had some, I asked them to look into rules for the park. So they've been doing that. They've had some suggestions about putting the grills down there and some other stuff. And yeah, so they're, they're a good group. They've been going right along and I expect good things to come on. Okay, the next thing is the Planning um, Commission Subcommittee Wage for Gina Kaczynski and Keith Elko. <coughs> Keith is our chairperson of the Planning Commission and Gina is our board representative. Well, I just um, think that we're asking them to do additional meetings, so I'm asking the board to approve um, a per meeting stipend or yeah, I don't know what you're from yeah. You. Mm -hmm. yeah, and I tell you what, both Keith and Gina have come, they've been available to participate whenever we ask. I think that's a fair thing. Yeah. All right. Okay, I'll on. make a motion then. Okay. Um, just whatever the, the per meeting is for, I would say because Gina's on the board, whatever the Per board okay. meeting is, yeah, and then for Keith, the letter is per. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. All right. Yeah. I make that motion. Okay, give us support. I have all support. I make a motion support to uh, to pay Keith Telto and Gina Kaczynski their meeting wage um, for any other additional. Um, planning Commission meeting. What what happens a lot? We'll have pre-application meetings with an applicant, and that clears up a lot of stuff. So when they do apply for the plan, a lot of the stuff they, we found out that the um, site planning process goes much smoother than that. So okay, roll call I, did, I have a question. Well, with the actual per meeting um, planning commission uh, per meeting is. For Keith, what is it? 50. 50. For Keith. I'm sorry. 50. And that's as a chair. Yeah. And so we're taking it as a setting the subcommittee for each. As it is for regular house. Is that what you're I'm good with that. I just want to make sure. It's not 82. Right. No. I, I, just I, think, I mean, I see one. Yeah, yeah. That's that was a board. That was a board yeah. for the end. Okay. Fine. All right. Okay. Um, roll call vote. Anderson, yes. Dan, yes. Kaczynski, yes. Steven, yes. Still in the Okay, motion carried. Okay, scrap tire recycling. Supervisor John Golan of China Township, he applied last year and was successful again this year for a scrap tire, tire recycling. What this is, he applied to the Eagle Department of Environmental Quality. They got the grant. What this grant pays for is we can have a trailer brought here and we can have residents bring scrap tires here for collection. It costs nothing for um, it costs nothing for the community. And John Golan invited the surrounding communities to join in, so that would have been St. Clair Township, uh, Cotterville, East China, 
in Casco Township to join in on this. Um, so when you say join in, join in on his grant or do your own grant? No, his grant. Okay. Yeah. So there's a uh, there's a a company we would call if the board would like to do this in Flint. They would place the trailer out here, usually about, they said about less than a week, the trailer fills up. And then we call and take it away. The only thing we may have to have is during open hours to have someone out there to monitor so people just don't throw stuff that's done. In is that a lockable dumpster? <coughs> because if you don't have a lockable dumpster, yeah, I'll you're going to need someone there 24 7 to monitor, right? Because yeah. Just because our hours are eight to five doesn't mean right. someone's not going to come at eight o'clock at night. And no, that I could find that out. Yeah. Does that include agricultural, big tractor tires? Yeah, I believe any kind of tires are that. Yeah. Make around in rubber or tires. <coughs> you can and lob the, it in there. And if the tire, <laughs> and if the tires are still on, we don't have to decide this right away. But if the tires on a rim, they'll take it because the scrap dealers will take it, the metal for scrap. So it's a good thing. It's been very successful over in China Township. But I, I could find out about the particulars. Yeah, I would just, that's what I'm saying. Because if you're going to have someone come babysit it and it's not lockable, then you're going to have to have a babysit yeah. it 24 7 for a week. Yeah, well, also, too, we have cameras in that. So that so that just it's, it's, yeah. 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 They want people. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, if this were like a lot of programs I've seen, it's it's a semi trailer and they'll have a padlock. Oh, okay. It. I think so you're it's, right. It's not like an open dumpster. Yeah. Okay. I think you're right, but I'll yeah. find out. To be sure. Sir, one one issue that you might have to is people dropping off tires after hours. Just leaving them way out there. Yeah, that's a thing. Um, you guys are gonna have to figure out what to well, do. Well, they'll. After. Yeah, that'll be. We'll have to post that, you know, about that. So. But even if you post it, it's not going to move. Yeah. People we'll do what they want. Yeah. But, well, I'll we'll find out more about it and we'll yeah. decide to make sure. I mean, it would be good. Yeah. It be yeah, it's been very successful. That's good. Okay. All right. So we'll we'll put this on hold. Okay. Yeah. Okay. d and &E Landscaping. Set up um, here. We have our um, contractor, um, D and &E Landscaping. Okay, um, is this very similar to last year's month? I don't know offhand. I didn't look. Here's price for time: sixty-three dollars to do the couch and all. I think that's about the same. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it is. I I was happy with them. They we went on a regular basis. <coughs> yeah. And they take care of the yeah. yeah, they do. And plus, they've been doing an outstanding job with the snow and ice. And I would say for the spring cleanup, I I don't think I would go with them. Mm -hmm. I, I was pleased with Britt. Oh, yeah. The way he cleaned up, and, and he was very personal too, yeah. Okay, so let's strike the spring cleanup. And the fall, yeah. Okay, strike we'll both. Just do the, the cutting. Okay, okay. So we have um, the weekly mowing trimming, bi-weekly edging, that for the cemetery, for the hall is $63, and for the cemetery, $198.34. I make a motion to approve uh, the contract for beauty landscaping with the prices as submitted. Support. Okay, we have a motion and support to um, um, to approve the DE um, for the cutting of the township hall and cemetery. Okay, roll call vote. Anderson, yes. Dean, yes. Kaczynski, yes. Stevens, yes. Silver, yes. Okay, no motion. I have the original for that, Joe. I'll give it to you. And sign it, and then if you send it to me, make sure I get it. Okay, and I'll call them and let them know we, we don't want to clean that. Okay, and I'll also call them and I mean, serious plays. Okay, citizen comments. Anyone would like to mm -hmm. yeah, no, I have a question. Yeah. I attended one of your special meetings, and I believe 
uh, the uh, network computers was on that agenda and discussed, and the township attorney was going to be contacted. Yeah. I, I was wondering if I could see any communications that she may have had with network computers. Yeah, I haven't. Um, I, I'll follow up with our attorney tomorrow. That's why I'm asking. Thank you. Yeah, I'll follow up. Did you ever follow up on the sign, too? I have not yet. We, we need to get yeah. back to you. Right. I'll, 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 you can go two birds with one yeah. stone, man. Yeah. Just have her send her a letter. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Joe. All right. Okay. Where does our code enforcement stand on turning in his bookwork on what he's up to? What's that? I thought I was under the understanding he was going to have a report tonight on the code violations. Yeah. I don't see him. I don't believe him. He's been out. Yeah. Well, he's been out. He's just started to, he was out convalescing. Um, he just resumed his work. So next meeting, you'll have a report for you, Jim, for the public. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So like to keep current now. Okay. Anyone else? Um, two weeks ago, Gina and myself went up to the road commission for our annual meeting. Mm -hmm. It was interesting. I gave the board the papers of the different prices. Um, the big thing right now, we like we mentioned earlier, we're going to have about 140-ish thousand dollars. We have five more culverts over county grains that need to be replaced in the next couple of years, about the next three years. Um, from our first group of ARPA money, we have $10,000. I want to use that to take care of that first culvert. But we also have two more miles of St. Clair Highway overlay. Now the Road Commission, we get a match grant each year. Um, this year we're going to be doing some um, ditching down on Springborn Road and other areas in the township. But for our match grants, we have two more miles of St. Clair Highway overlay plus the five culverts. They suggest I work with the area foreman to plot out a strategy where we could use our ARPA money in conjunction with some of the match grants to accomplish it, to replace all the five culverts plus the two miles of St. Clair Highway overlay. <coughs> All done in 2024. No, it would it'd be about a couple, two or three years to stretch that out. And um, when does the money have to be spent? Isn't there a deadline? Well, the first group has to be spent by the end of the year. That ten thousand dollars. So I want to get that done. And the next one, I think, has to be the end of 2026, I believe. So like that. Yeah. I don't know if that's different from no, no. our our money that we. Yeah. I'll, I'll find out if it's happening. But um, I'll work with our area foreman to come up with a game plan to maximize using that money to get the work done, the infrastructure work we needed. I was concerned about the Meldrum Road culvert over Jerome Creek. As long as I can remember, there's a hit, that culvert's been there. I mean, I've been, been around the township ever since I was <coughs> small. And that's always when it called her. And I was worried about that, the stat, um, the condition of it. Well, the engineers checked it, and it's in good shape. They said we, it's going to be, we don't have to worry for at least eight years on that. So I got it. They said that was built with heavy duty, rugged steel back in the 60s, and it's still standing up strong. Yeah. So I have a question about the overlay. Yeah. What is the cost between just overlaying it or fixing it the right way to actually, so you don't have to, it's because the same bumps are going to occur in a few years where the culverts push up anyways. They're, even if they grind them down, they're going to come back. Yeah. Okay. I don't have the background to answer that specifically. Right. But I mean, when you do overlay like we've done, we've been working our way down St. Clair Highway, after a certain period, they have to do, um, They'll have to do um, the patching on it, the, 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 the shoulder there? Not sh oh, no, the, 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 the ceiling. I mean, we live, we live in Michigan where there's fault freezes and thaws, and that's hard on the road. It is. And plus, St. Clair Highway gets used a lot. But when, they, when you have culverts that push up and heave, and then they just grind it down, and then yeah. they put new asphalt over top of it. Yeah, it heaps well, back up again. It's going to heap up the new yeah, asphalt. Yeah, St. Clair Highway is not as bad on that stuff. Just at Beathway is the only really bad spot that I've noticed. 
yeah. by itself. Because if, if you drive an older truck or a heavier duty truck, trust me, you'll feel well. You'll feel all that. Sinclair, <laughs> Sinclair Highway is not a truck route. That's no. I mean, like a pickup truck. Yeah. Like so. But yeah, the other thing, the five culverts <coughs> and the overlay on Sinclair Highway. We remember the the infrastructure project we're going to focus on. Have we looked at the call? No, on Palms and. Arnold, where they put in that new one, where it's not a culvert, but it's concrete, mm -hmm. the concrete boxes. Right. Have we looked into that on some of the major, the more heavier flow ones instead of just culverts? Yeah, that's up to the engineer's right. office. I, that's up to them when they price it out. I mean, when they look at it and do the study. Um, right now, the engineers were saying, once we get that culvert, those five culverts done, Casco Township will be really good on our large culverts and bridges. Um, I mean, there may be occasional cross tubes, the little tubes, but those go bad. We don't know when those go bad. Um, grass shit through Casco <coughs> Township is going to be reconstructed this year. It'll be this summer. From County Line to Division Road, they're going to be working on grass shit. It'll be happening sometime. Are they trash trucks? Yeah, are they fine? Oh, okay. County Line. Yeah. Okay. Tommy's Pipe Store, 32. Yeah, to Division. Yeah, but you want to take St. Clair High. I was taking St. Clair High to grab it, so north of that. We, we have that. Also, another thing, BC Road on Marine City Highway, they're installing a center turn lane for at BC Road. Now, BC Road and Casco and Ira are offset. Uh, so, BC Road will be closed at the end on both sides while they do construction. So they're going to have route trucks up like that from Indian Summer and that up on BC Road to Springborn Road, take it down Springborn Road. But the road, but the road commission has allocated money, extra money, to maintain those roads during that closure. Okay? It's just like when they have the Palms Road Bridge closed. They had Hessen Road as a detour. They allocated extra money to put gravel on blind stone on it. Yeah. Not just that, the other big thing, they're installing a roundabout right at Palms Road and Marine City Highway. There. Can we fight that at all? What's that? Can we fight against that or have them at least design it with like every other township or every other county? You'll, Not like these ones. You'll have to talk to the You'll have to talk to the county. That's a county road. I mean, the way I don't know whoever. Well, you go to the meetings. Yeah. Whoever's designing them for St. Clair County, they obviously don't use them. Because if you go to the ones in Macomb County, you go straight into them, and then you make the loop. Okay. Not not St. Clair where you go to the right, to the left, and then back to the well. Okay. okay. I I can. It's a nightmare for trucks. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Even my even my RV, I, I tow my truck with it, and I have a hell of a time keeping off the curve with it. Yeah, I don't. I just don't know. No. I don't know. Who engineers these things? Yeah. The one. Um, well, they ought to have to drive the darn truck yeah. through the ground. Well, they they could just leave out that big S curve. They right. put it. That's what oh, kills it. Is of the ball. Well, that's where. Yeah. I could get the sizes for that. But the project is going to happen regardless. Wait, but do we not have any input on what's happening in no. our section of township? No. What's that? No. 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 Yeah. That's why you have to go over to those meetings in Europe. Yeah. Okay, hold on. The St. Clair County Road Commission there in St. Clair Township, right on Airport Drive, mm -hmm. they have monthly meetings. They have two meetings a month, actually. Go on their website, you can find it, you can go up there and talk to the road commission. And the green commissioners across the hall, right? It is. Yeah. The green commissioners right across the hall. <laughs> right. For I just wonder if they sat there for the last three years and watched that party store gas station being built with a, with a million yeah. Yeah. dollars worth of concrete and everything else, and now they're going to rip it up. Yeah. It makes no blood yeah, of sense. What's wrong with the light? I was going to say there's a light. Why, 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 yeah, they're not going to reimburse them for any of Well, they yeah. found out yeah. the, oh. the strategies for oh. these roundabouts <laughs> when, okay, in a current, I mean, a traditional intersection, you have T bone crashes, which are very severe. When you go through a roundabout, they're glancing blows, which is is not a severe. How many X 
T bones ever had at five. I don't. They're doing a lot. I don't know about recently. There's 26 in Palms. When I was in high school, I know yeah. at least six people that I was in school with that got T bone at the intersection. Right. Is that right? Okay, folks. Okay, if you want, <laughs> folks, if you want particular on these projects, I said please call up the road commission and they will tell you. So, but like I said, we're going to rebuild Gratiot there through Casco from the county line to Division Road. They'll be putting a center lane on BC Road, a uh, center turn lane, and they're going to be doing the roundabout there at Marin City Highway in Paul. That's all this year they're doing? Yep. Do we know, like, dates so we can let our residents know? I'll find out. Why a left turn at Beathway? Like yeah. If you've gone down 26 mile yeah. road to try to turn yeah. south on the Beathway, it is not good. It's oh, yeah. Rush hour traffic. Yeah. It's bad. It'll our, back up for a mile or two. I also, too, they turn. told us, even though it's not Casco Township, next year at St. Clair Highway and Wadham's Road, they're putting in uh, another one. Yeah. Oh. Right. Yeah, that's a dangerous yes. intersection, too. Is it? Yeah. That's the English intersection. Can they, like, teach people how to drive? Yeah. I don't know if you guys have used any of the roundabouts going up Palms or going up Yeah. They don't know how to use them either. They drive straight across the same thing. They put trees or signs in the middle of them. They're gone after. I went out to Wall Lake for her competition this weekend. They plant the grass. There's two new streets. Six roundabouts. Six roundabouts. Six roundabouts. Right in and out of it. Okay. So all I can say. I will. I will be at the next meeting for the yeah. oh, it's gonna, I went to drive for these, Okay, it's a culture changing event when these things happen. It just. Yeah, I mean, it's, um, six seven people have to die, and we'll all get used to it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You think all right, when it happens, we're just yeah. crossing a normal highway with a red and a green light too, but it just yeah. doesn't work after yeah. 50 years. Pay attention. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Any other board members have any other questions? I have a comment. Yeah. Okay, so Joe and I went yeah. to a meeting. Uh, for the Michigan, or no, it was St. Clair Township, Saint Clair County, yeah. the south yeah. end of St. Clair. Yeah, Township. well, well, this is, we went to the Michigan Township Association. St. Clair County. Yeah. Yeah. Or chapter. Yeah, or, and, and, and they talked about the um, solar, 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 solar panels and the windmills mm -hmm. and how they're coming and how the state has control. The state has control. I love to hear it. And that. I did yeah. not. Did you bring any of those petitions? No, but I'll have them here. If you want to sign a petition on, okay, I what did I have to bring mine. Last fall, um, the state legislator put into law and the governor signed it a thing to take away a lot of, most, not all, but most of the local <laughs> control. Local zoning what does not it? match what the state wants. Yeah. The state yeah. three yeah. unelected bureaucrats yeah. override your um, local zoning. Yeah. 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 So our marijuana, our voice, marijuana, gravel pits, etc. This is from DTE, and it's basically saying um, that they would like to work with us. Um, and, and the, the act, the public act 233 of 2023, that's the one that basically takes our local control and gives it to the state. Um, they're saying that the act mandates local permitting only if the effective local unit of government has adopted a compatible renewable energy ordinance. Yeah. So read through this letter, and I think this is something that probably the planning commission goes to look at, yeah. and we need to stay yeah. to this. Yeah. Now we, planning commission has talked about that. So, so it's saying if you do what they want you to do, they won't take control. Well, of course there's you a petition yeah. out right no, now. No. There's a petition out right now to put it on the ballot to repeal it. I mean, yeah, yeah. So let's I do have a question. get that yeah. out. Yeah. Is there if we made a local ordinance to where to work with them to allow a solar farm to be built, that some of that energy gets fed back into the residents of the community that it's in um, without... Well, first like, of all... I mean? Like, that's working with them. Where yeah. does it say that? Casco Township... Casco Township already has a solar ordinance. We'll just, right now, as the current, as the law stands, we just have to adjust it to meet what the state requires. 
We, I mean, you can have whatever setbacks and whatnot, but if it doesn't meet theirs, they'll do what they want. They'll do yeah. what they want. I'm all for putting in solar farms, like solar panels at my house, but I can't spend. I don't have eight thousand okay. dollars. This well, they, they talked about how dangerous they are. No, they're talking about I know what they want. I know what they want. Farmland yeah. and putting well, filling the field with concrete yeah. to put your solar panels in, mm -hmm. and okay. or wind turbines yeah, and of, destroy, well, wind turbines. literally destroy. The farm. Well, well, first of all, first of all, this, cannot refarm it. First of all, yeah. this area is not a wind corridor, so forget about wind. Yeah. Let's well, make ourselves well, unattractive as possible. Somebody, I think, <laughs> is it China that's looking at having a solar farm? 60 acres up on um, another threat dealing with local communities is the sand and gravel. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. there, a certain so. group is pushing that. Well, most of Casco is clay, but there's other areas that's very sandy. Oh yeah. And let's say if they're successful, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they offer people big bucks to sell their property to start. Yeah, yeah. I like they're offering at least a thousand dollars an acre plus. On the solar farm, I get about three letters a year. Yeah. yeah. Plus, we our biggest property owners is consumer mm -hmm. power and energy provider. So you know they may. Well, the thing is, these solar companies they will come in and they offer you big bucks for your hundred acres. Then they go bankrupt. And, and then we're back with, and then you get all this. I mean, it's bad. It's okay. actually really bad. So there is a petition to put it on the ballot. There's. Maybe I'll, I can post some of the locations. It, it shows up in our Casco Facebook, if you're on Facebook. Um, Marine, there's a location in Marine City. There are all, some places, storefronts are allowing people to be there with the petitions. So registered voters, if you can find a petition, sign it because they need to collect the signatures. It's by May 15th. I think, yeah, it's coming there's, up. There's a deadline. It's is this a countywide petition? It's a statewide. It's a statewide. State 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 there's a statewide. State 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 there's a group on Facebook that you can find called Our Home, Our Voice, okay. who are actually leading this effort. They've got lawyers lined up. They're doing it right so that it's done legally. Right. Yeah. Right? right. And so that nobody in the yes. state can't fight it. Okay. So that's, they're a really good group to at least follow. You can see what other counties, what other townships are doing, find out where people are going to be with the petitions, and so on and so on. There's lots of information out there on this. And thank you for the contribution. Okay. I am up to here in it, trust me. All right. Anyone else or that? Okay, we're up to a year No, I have something. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I wanted to give our residents a little update on our early voting session. Mm -hmm. So, Prop 2, 22-2 mandated that we have nine days of early voting. Um, so we had our nine days of early voting here, and we had a joint early voting center with Columbus Township, so we're splitting the cost between the two of us. Um, luckily for the presidential primary, we are getting reimbursed from the state, um, which is still our tax dollars, just at the higher level. Um, we had 76 people total for two townships for nine days. I think 50, 53 was yeah, ours. 53 were cast on people. Um, so I didn't do the math to figure out like the cost per voter that would have come out to. But I can tell you, um, we had about $6,000 worth of election inspector wages for that nine days of early voting. For less than 80 votes. Yes. Yes. And we are mandated and by law to work. I know. I think I was number 62. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah. And another problem we had is the early voting was, it started the second Sunday before the election. So it was February 17th and it went through the Sunday before the election, which was February 25th. Yes. Right. So there was no voting on February 26th. We had seven people, I counted, seven people come in and, and wanted to early vote. And when that was the same amount of people that came in Saturday and Sunday. And when they announced the dates, we, we questioned why aren't you having early voting ending on Monday? Because people are going to think yeah. early voting goes through Monday, right. the election is Tuesday. 
Right. But by law, they have it set up that way. It's in the and the legislature. I mean, we posted it everywhere, and we yeah. sent out flyers and everything else. And it was the same for everybody. Nobody could have voting that day, so it's not like it was just us deciding or anything. I mean, we didn't decide any of this. We didn't want this. It was voted on by the voters. It was voted in. That's another thing, you guys. Can appeal. Yes, we, we need Please. to get someone to get a petition together to it's a, a lot of appeal that. Yeah, repeal it on the. <laughs> Because that was tied in with what, the marijuana or something? No, it no. was. It was, it was all about it was an election. There was um, people that bring all the way The through. tagline, the commercials that the Secretary of State had on there was for the military voters, which we already had five extra days. When mm -hmm. we send out military and overseas um, ballots, they go out 45 days before the election. They're allowed five extra days. The new part is it can be postmarked by the election and then they have six days after the election that we have to count. That's new. I don't have a problem with that. Um, they also had another tagline was to show ID. You've always had to show ID. And we've always but that's where people stopped. They, oh, yep, yep, we want that, we want that, that's fine. But they didn't keep reading on all this other stuff that they mandated. That's, it, it's costing all these small townships and cities so much money. They're slabbing it. And the, the county was supposed to, one of the, the people that worked at the county, she no longer works there now, um, she was setting up to do early voting centers through the county. And she was going to have maybe like nine of them throughout the county, you know, a couple in the north part, south part, east, west, north, you know. And people can go maybe drive 10 miles, okay? It's not going to be real close, but at least it's, you know. But it's giving you the convenience of coming on the weekends when you're not working. It's right. not supposed to be like election day. We're here from 7 o'clock in the morning until 8 o'clock at night. Right. You but know? with the early voting, splitting it with, with the county, you're splitting it with everybody in the county. So we instead of two communities paying $6,000 for election wages, you're going to have however many. I think it's like 48 jurisdictions. Right, jurisdictions. But if you have like eight like or nine different centers, yes. obviously you're gonna, you know, have different people, different days. But it would still be a better cost savings, and to have more cost people, effective. You no, know, everybody yes. get selection day off and go and vote in. Make it a holiday. Um, it well, there's no, no oh, reason absentee voting. Oakland County did. Oakland County did. Yes. Yeah. There was, a, you know, and my niece is the clerk at St. Clair, St. Clair Shores. You're talking. Quite a bigger city. She only had 400 people for her whole. She has yeah. 17 precincts. We have two. Well, do you remember what the state? I posted it on our Facebook. What the state? The total state wasn't it? Like, it was like 80. It was less than 80,000. It was like 78,000. I mean, that's it was like 0.00 for the whole state. For the whole state. The whole state. And the Secretary of State is making this like this great thing. You know it's that all the 85,000 or 80,000 people it's show up. It's costing way too much money. For but the then they then they lump in the AB voters because then it's like oh over a million or however it is what's an AB. Absolutely. Oh, okay. I'm and sorry. that's the only one good thing that I think thought was good that you can take your, you can get an AV and then you can put it through the tabulator. But you can do that on election day now, which right. is nice because then you can sit at home and you can research your ballot and yeah. bring it in and then put it through the tabulator. It shall be just one day. That, that doesn't make you absentee then if you come in and put yeah. it in the machine. It doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't. No, but, but, you, but you get you the the opportunity to work over the ballot, True. Well, ahead of time to do your research. You can that's probably why you get all that stuff online too. You certainly can. Certainly can. So, I mean, we have sample ballots all the time. It's never been like you couldn't research in there, but. But yeah, yeah I just wanted to, up too. I wanted to throw it out there so you guys kind of have an idea of what's going on. I'll keep you updated. We worked a lot of hours, but, you know. Yes. We worked a lot of hours. Yeah, I mean, surely voting wouldn't be bad if the county handled it. You know, they took strict control. It wouldn't be a bad idea. It's just uh, okay. how they do it. How early is early for eight days? Well, well you, 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 you can like, go up to 28 days early, like yeah. Detroit, if they want, like these bigger jurisdictions. No, she could have decided to do the whole thing. Well, it's not a election month. It's election day. Exactly. 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 It's, exactly. 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 It's, exactly. it's always been election day for exactly. 200 years. It's, it's never been election week or election month. It's exciting. But look how many election quarter. You know what I mean? But it was voted. Next year, we say, hey, vote now for seven years from now. Right. But look how many people show up for primaries, mid-year elections, mm -hmm. right? The May elections, August elections. The percentage is so small. People okay. don't know. Our, our voter vote was almost 70% for primaries, which is really good. We did good? Yeah. Wasn't it? Yeah. Between maybe or maybe wasn't that high?
Well, it's, I mean, it's up to the citizens, like you residents, go up to the county commissioner's meeting and said, yeah, we'd like, let's say if you don't mind early vote, said, yeah, it's a burden on our communities, you need to have a countywide system. Or else you could say, I don't like early vote. Well, then just add into a tax and just charge more. Yeah. But, I mean, the people voted on it, so, I mean. Now it's in the Constitution. Lots of those targeted voters. Well, okay, we, we, did, we tried to educate. We had an information like nobody should no, have it. Was it was to, but, you know, we try to educate everybody. And when was here, <laughs> yeah, Nita enjoyed it, right? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I just mean that when they would vote in, the well, things they put in our constitution, the things they vote for, it's like, are you not? Well, the, the guy that in. wrote this prop, too, he was the previous um, director of the Bureau of Elections, so he knew what he was doing. Of course. And we, and I remember, because that was, we got so many phone calls on this. I mean, so many phone calls. And we would get to, you need to show you, I had a list of what I would tell everybody. And we, I get to show you, oh, yep, yeah, that's what I want. Then we, I go, there's more. No, that's, that's all I needed to hear. Yeah. Nope. And people didn't research. It's like people well, didn't just read the headlines. Exactly. And the well, and that's the thing. Well, she went out of your You know what, this hate voter ID. Yeah, that's the profit. Who doesn't want voter ID? Yeah, it's here. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're up for adjournment. I make that motion. I'll second. We have a motion and support to adjourn. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.